Hey YouTubers, Team Borders United here doing a deck profile for my friend's Magician Girl deck. So please go ahead with the deck profile, Brandon. Alright, so I play three Very Magician Girl. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably one of the best because it lets you search uh, for any Magician Girl. He's your Stratus. Yeah, and you can actually search for yourself. So sometimes like I'll play it and then search for a berry just so I can go on a berry next turn. So uh, three chocolate. Uh, lets you draw a card by discarding a spellcaster. So just really good. It's the draw power of the deck. Uh, three kiwi. Uh, this lets you get your OTKs off. And also protects your spellcasters from card effects yeah. while it's on the field. Play two apple. Uh, this one's really good because it lets you si um, recycle your magician girls. Uh, two lemon. Uh, it's honestly the worst. I'll probably cut it to one, but it's still, a it, it's still pretty good. Oh yeah. It just yeah. lets you summon from hand. It's good because it searches for any spellcaster instead of searching them, just for a magician girl. Yeah. So I think that's one of the good things. Yeah. The only bad part is like you have to sacrifice one, so mm -hmm. that's the only bad part. Uh, two dark magician girl. Uh, you don't really need three, but she's she's good for chocolate. And two demon because he's like the boss monster. And two summer monk because why not? You play a lot of spells, so. Yeah, he's really good. Get chocolate girl r out yeah. right away. Yeah, and you can go for a rank four play if you want. I play the one reasoning. This is like my favorite card in the whole deck because you play levels one through six, and then level eight. So you're pretty much guaranteed to get something out, and then you can also uh, fill your grade up, graveyard up uh, for Kiwi. And then I play one upstart. Uh, this is a 41 card deck. I just like upstart for uh, Summer Monk. And just for better siding options. There's a lot of things I love about UW. Uh, soul charge for bringing back everything. Uh, ha this happens a lot because people can clear your board pretty easily. So. Geki is really good. I play one Wonder Wand. Um, I'm testing one right now. Maybe I'll put up to two. Uh, two Duality uh, for draw power, really good. Uh, two Dark Hole, just because you really need to clear the board in this deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's important. Uh, two Magical Dimension, uh, really good, disrupts plays. You can use it on your turn too. Um, basically it allows you just to get out a monster from your hand like Demok, and then just destroys a monster. Uh, three Twin Twister, just too good. Like, card's insane. I play the Warning and the Two Strikes. Uh, just stops plays. Uh, just too good right now. Um, I play the one Dark Renewal. Um, I only really have one right now, but... Would you, how many would you play if you had the rest, like, more? I'd consider playing three, but honestly, Magical Dimension's really good, so maybe I'd play, like, two of these in one dimension, just because you can use Dimension on your turn. So I'd probably maybe play two of these in one dimension. Uh, two Call. I was playing three, but... Uh, I feel like three is too cloggy. Like you'll open up with like two, and then you're like, "What do I do with these? Like they're just so bad." So I play two. <laughs> uh, one mirror force, because uh, you need. Because like I, I was playing against my dad one time, and he kind of wrecked me. So after that, do I put in one mirror force and a dark and another dark hole? Um, so I just I think mirror force is pretty good. I only play one mirror force because of twin twister though. Yeah, I like her. And then Magician's Defense. I was playing two, but you only need one. It, it's good, because it's like another Call the Haunted, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And it counters a Twin Twister, too. That's it for the main. Uh, for Extra Duck. Play the One Dower Magician, just because you can make it pretty easily. Um, that guy's so Emerald, because uh, he's like one of the best, because he allows you to recycle. Abyss uh, Dweller, just, just because he's good. Uh, I really like um, the Black Ship Corn. Uh, because he is a, uh, because you can kill monsters pretty easily and then also deal a thousand damage, so I just really like him. Uh, Giant Hand, um, I don't know how I feel about this card. I feel like it's pretty good, but if you set up a board and then just summon it, it's pretty good. I don't know. Uh, 101. Uh, 101 is insane. It's like probably one of the best, just because you can steal monsters easily. Uh, Bahamut Shark, and then this guy with Bahamut is like insane. Yeah. Because he's unaffected by monster effects, and then, like, when one of your spells or traps is sent to the graveyard, you can excavate the top card of your deck. If it's a trap, you can add to your hand. If not, just send it to the graveyard. Just, he's a beater, plus, yeah, exactly. he's just too good. And then, really good. And then Nightmare Shark, I had to go with the Bahamut. Um, I played at number 21. Uh, this is really good against uh, Burning Abyss. So basically, just play this and kill all their Dantes. And then play these two guys. Um, just pretty standard. I think they're really good. Yeah, they are. Uh, then the Beatrice, Pilgrim, and Virgil. Um, I would honestly take out Virgil for a second Pilgrim. Uh, I think Beatrice is good, just because you can call the haunted back. And One of the 
positives about Virgil is that he's a spellcaster, so you can use Dark Renewal, and then you can also trigger uh, some of the other cards, like Wonder One and so on with it. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, it has its benefits, and then if it's destroyed, you draw one card. Yeah, which is important, because in this deck, like, when you use your hand, you, you're not getting cards back usually. Like, it's hard to draw in the deck, I guess. Uh, for a side deck, play two Flying C, one Maxi. Um, just pretty good, I thought, for BAs. I play one Puppet Plant for the Mirror Match. Uh, it's, it's pretty good, it disrupts the plays. You can still, like, if they summon Chocolate, you can steal their Chocolate. Uh, you can do it on your turn and use their effect. and It's pretty good. You can also, I guess, use this, steal their Monster, and then use uh, Lemon Girl to search. I play three System Down for the Cosmo matchup. I play one Cosmic Cyclone for Pendulums. Two Flowers, two Magic Deflectors, uh, two Magic Strike, and then one Chaos Trapple. Just all pretty standard stuff. Yeah, anti matter. Alright, thank you so much, Brandon, for the deck profile. Yeah, peace. Thank you.